All right, in this lesson, we're going to be looking at independent and dependent variables in tables and graphs. And we need to be able to identify independent and dependent quantities from tables and graphs. So we're going to look at some real-world situations. We're going to learn and try to understand what the independent and dependent variables are. And we're going to put them in tables and graphs. So let's take a look here at our vocabulary. And you definitely need to write this down and have this to refer back to. Uh, what it says here is that the quantity that depends on the other quantity is called the dependent variable, and the quantity it depends on is called the independent variable. Now that says a lot, but we're going to explain that throughout this, uh, throughout this lesson. But let's just be sure that we highlight our vocabulary words, dependent variable and independent variable. All right, so let's look at this example. It says the outlet store is selling shirts for twelve dollars each. Okay, so anytime you purchase something you have a couple things going on. You purchase a certain amount of items and it costs a certain amount of dollars. That's two different variables that are going on. One of them is independent and one of them is dependent. Well, the dependent variable, just like the word sounds, it depends on something else. So when you purchase something, the cost is the dependent variable because it depends on what you're purchasing. In this example, it would depend on the number of shirts that you purchase. So, independent variable is the number of shirts and a dependent variable is the cost. Now, let's think about a relationship here. If the shirts are $12 each, you can determine the cost by multiplying the number of shirts times 12. So the specific relationship for this one is actually going to be 12x, where you multiply the number of shirts times 12. So be sure to make sure you have all this written down. But let's understand that this one specifically is a multiplicative relationship. And I'm going to go ahead and write that down multiplicative relationship. We're going to look at two types. The first one we're looking at is a multiplicative relationship. So now that we understand this is a multiplicative relationship, let's go ahead and put it in a table and graph format. So by table, what I mean is something like this. And tables can be drawn vertically or horizontally. I'm going to draw this one vertically. All right, so we're going to have an X, and we're going to have a Y. One of them is the uh, input, and one of them is the output. Okay, And you need to understand them as the independent and dependent variables. So the X is going to be the independent variable. And the y is going to be the dependent variable. The y is the dependent and the x is the independent. So in this specific example, if we purchased one shirt, it would cost us $12. If we were to purchase two shirts, it would cost us $24. If we were to purchase three shirts, it would cost us $36. And if we were, to, let's say we purchased 10 shirts, well, 10 shirts would cost us $120. Okay? So that is our table. And from our table, what we have created is our ordered pairs for the graph. In this one specifically, we have a 112. And we have a 2. 24 and so on 3 36 and 10 120 okay so in a graph format we're just going to look at quadrant 1 which is the positive positive part of the coordinate plane again it's it's going to be we're just going to be looking at quadrant 1 so let's go ahead and label this graph first. Now, remember that the x-axis is here and the y-axis 
is this one, okay? Now, on the bottom, the x-axis, again, is the independent variable, and for this one, it was the number of shirts purchased, the number of shirts. And the, uh, the dependent variable was the cost, the cost, okay? And then, of course, we would need, so this, again, is the number of shirts. I'm going to do this side by, by uh, a value of 10. So let's say $10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Well, we can graph these. So if you buy one shirt, it costs $12. It'd be somewhere about right here. If you were to buy two shirts, it would be $24. If you were to buy three shirts, it's $36. Of course, if you didn't buy any shirts, it would be $0. And you can see here that we have this straight line and it's going to continue to go on. And that is our graph, and this is our table. That's a multiplicative relationship. Okay? Let's take a look at another example. This example says that Emma's mom gave her $25 to start a savings account. She's a, she deposited $1 every day. Okay, so we have an independent and a dependent variable. Okay? The dependent variable, again, depends on the independent variable. So this one, the dependent variable is going to be the amount of money in her savings account. So we'll put the amount of money in account, in her savings account. That is dependent upon how many days? Because in this one, she's depositing $1 a day. So this would be number of days. Now, this relationship is a little bit different. Because on the first day, well, to begin with, she has $25. Well, the next day, she's going to add one dollar and then on day two she's going to add another dollar she's going to keep adding dollars every day so in this relationship it's going to start with 25 and we're going to add x sometimes you might see it written though as x plus 25 okay but both of those are the same or, or yeah both of those say the same thing and this, very specifically, is an additive relationship. It's an additive relationship. So you've seen multiplicative, and now we're working with an additive relationship. Let's go ahead and look at the table and the graph, and this might help make um, a little bit more sense. Okay, so I'm going to draw this table a little bit differently. Okay, so let's remember we have an X and we have a Y. Okay, and the X is the independent variable and the Y is the dependent variable. Now let's start with zero on this one. Again, if it was zero days, you remember she was given $25, so she starts with zero and then 25. 0, 25. And then after one day, she would have $26. And then two days, she would have $27 because she's adding a dollar every day. This is an additive, this is an additive relationship. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and graph this one as well. Remember, this is our X and our Y. So 
let's go ahead and label this graph. What would the x be, or the x value be? Uh, and that is our number of days. And then our y-axis, or our independent variable, would be the savings account. the amount of money in the savings account. This one, I'll do this one by, let me do this one by fives. So this would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 20, I'm sorry, 30. Whoa. Excuse me. So here's third. Okay, so now we have our y-axis. Now let's start with, uh, again, let's start with the zero. So on zero days, remember, we're at $25 right here. That crosses the y-axis. Zero. The x is zero. We're going to write down that ordered pair. Remember, we have a zero, 25. That's our ordered pair. And then we have a one, 26. So over here after day one, we just go up to 26, which would be like right there. And then after day two, we're at 27. Day three, uh, we're at 28. So now you can see uh, the relationship here. So it's the same kind of... Um, same kind of graph, but you notice that it doesn't go th it doesn't go down here through zero zero. It starts at zero twenty five, and remember that this is the additive relationship. Let me just finish out these ordered pairs here to make sure uh, you understand. Okay, so the this table and graph represent an additive relationship. Okay, let's just take a quick look at this last um, little example. Um, it says that the table below shows a relationship between two variables, x and y. Describe a possible situation the table could represent and describe the independent and dependent variables in this situation. Now, you don't have to write this one down, but I want you to see, uh, here it is in table format. And we have the independent variable x, which is a 1 which produces an 8, or an 8 is dependent upon 1. And then we have a 2 and a 16, a 3, a 24, and a 4 and 8. So what we're looking for is to see if we can see a relationship between these inputs and outputs. You input a 1, you get an 8. You input a 2, you get a 6. Hopefully you can see the relationship there is, is the x value times 8, or we could just write 8x to show the relationship. 8 times x. 8x. Uh, if you wanted to describe it maybe in a real world situation, you could say that this table represents the uh, amount a person earns at a rate of $8 per hour. If they work for one hour, they earn $8. If they work for two hours, they earn 16 So we need to be able to take a table and recognize and see the relationship and again this is a multiplicative relationship okay so that is a look at independent and dependent variables